Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. The spring is a bit late this year and some days it's so gloomy and rainy that it feels more like autumn than spring. So I really wanted to bring in some color. So today we are painting a very colorful butterfly in watercolors. And like I promised in my last video, today I'm going to be testing my custom Daniel Smith watercolor palette because today I really wanted to put it to the test on how different colors work with each other and how generally Daniel Smith watercolors work because as I have told you before I'm not that familiar with them I'm just getting acquainted and I'm very curious about what I can get out of them for this painting I'm using Kenson Heritage hot pressed watercolor paper it is 100% cotton and what I have found out so far is that this paper is great for wet and wet techniques and what I've noticed is that it actually doesn't buckle I mean maybe a little bit in the beginning when you put the initial layer of water but then it just absorbs it and just stays that way and you will see it throughout the video that I don't use any clips or anything and I'm quite happy about it so far I didn't use any special techniques in this painting. It was just a pure discovery. And now I will let you enjoy the painting process. So grab yourself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and I'll catch up with you in the end of the video.
and now we're getting closer to the final look and it was a bit of a struggle like it often is probably with the new paints when it takes time to learn how to behave if you are used to something else and I'm definitely not used to Daniel Smith paints I'm still learning their granulation and mixing and for example I noticed many things like that they shift in color quite a lot when they dry but yet you can make them very saturated if you apply several layers and generally it was quite of a pleasure to work with them but this painting took me much longer time than I would have expected because I really thought it would be just you know a very quick painting but I just wasn't quite satisfied with what I was seeing and I also have a suspicion that this match with Cancel Heritage watercolor paper and Daniel Smith watercolor paints is maybe not the best, but I do not know yet for sure, but I would really like to try them out with uh, different types of paper to figure out where Daniel Smith show their best side. But this is it for today. I really hope that you have enjoyed this video and if you did, please remember to like this video and subscribe and please let me know in the comments below whether you like Daniel Smith paint or you prefer some other brand and if you do, please let me know what it is, I'm very curious. But that's it for today, thank you and see you in my next video, bye!